allow the mind to settle down and gather itself together. If it's scattered around, it doesn't have much strength. It's like having your money deposited in lots of little places. When you need it, you can't have to go running around, running around, running around to pick up all the little pieces of money. But if you have it all gathered in one place, all you have to do is just reach for it and there it is. We tend to think that it's safer to have lots of concerns going on all at once, and somehow that the mind is actually wealthier when it's got lots of concerns. You can think about this, think about that. But it's really impoverished. The mind that's really wealthy is one that has one really good thing to stick with. Because what is the wealth for? It's for your security. And the mind here is secure when it's centered in one spot. And even though it may not be thinking about a, about a lot of things and not have much entertainment, still it's got the well-being that comes from being centered, and it has the strength that comes from being centered as well. So this is going to be our refuge. This is going to be our safe place right here. When they talk about taking the refuge in the Buddha, and the Dharma, and the Sangha, it's not so much that they're going to come and help us, it's just that we take their qualities into us. We try to develop mindfulness, we try to develop discernment. Simply the fact that we're practicing is not going to protect us. We've got to learn to use our discernment. It's not the case that the practice sends off magic rays, but it does help develop qualities in the mind so that we can start thinking about things and being careful about what we do. Have an eye to the long term. And that's what protects us. In other words, our discernment is what protects us. You use your discernment, and that, that gives us gives you protection. So do whatever is needed to give the mind strength and give strength to your discernment. Because that's what you're going to need a lot of. You live in the world where there's aging, illness, and death, and the Buddha's image has four mountains moving in from all directions. And how are you going to escape from suffering from those mountains? Well, by being discerning. To realize that whatever is being crushed by them is not really yours, and the things that the mountains can crush is, are not the really valuable things. So focus on the valuable things inside. Make sure that they're developed, then you'll be safe. <laughs>